Good morning, students. Welcome to the second video of solving mathematics syllabus D paper one four zero two four variation eleven May June uh, two thousand eighteen. In my last video, I have done up to question number nine. Today, I'm going to do question number ten, and this is locus and construction. The scale diagram below shows a burn uh, A B C D. A B is given seven meter, and B C is given four meter. On the diagram, one centimeter represents one meter. Okay, so one centimeter over here, actual uh, distance is one meter. The horizontal lane rail is attached to a to the outside wall of the burn from A to B. Jasper, a dog, is attached to a rope three meter long. Uh, the other end of the rope is attached to the rail and then slide along. So, uh, rail is supposed to be from A to B so over here and it's three meter long and it can slide from here to here okay uh, on the diagram shade the region where Jasper can go okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw a perpendicular line on this one three meter away three meter means three centimeter in this diagram so I'm gonna first draw three centimeter line segment so that's my three centimeter line segment. Okay, this is three centimeter. Now, the way you can draw, okay, uh, make a perpendicular line over here. I can use this and uh, to make perpendicular line, I can, I can draw with any radius and arc like this. And from this, I'm not going to change the radius, length of the radius. I'm going to mark it over here. And I'm going to mark from here, a new mark over here. Now from this, I'm going to make an arc over here, draw an arc. And with this arc, intersecting arcs, I'm going to draw another one to intersect that. Now I'm going to join these two. If I join these two, that's going to be perpendicular line on this one okay and remember I have to take three centimeter from here so that's my three centimeter okay you have to have this marking okay be careful don't miss that so this is my three centimeter I can measure that okay this looks like three centimeter that's pretty good okay now I can measure uh, I can draw another length like this another another line like that or what can I do I can keep this one and remember it was seven centimeter and this length has to be seven centimeter too so i can from here i just do that and from this particular place i'm gonna draw this one so this intersecting point i'm gonna join that again from here that's gonna be like that okay and then i'm i'm joining this two and that okay so this one, three centimeter away from this particular point and this particular point. So if Jasper is here, he can come up to here. If it's he's here, he can come over here. Now when he's here, uh, his his uh, the 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 uh, rope is gonna be slight to this part. So over here it can roam. But look at this, it can go this side too. Okay, so. What happened, I'm gonna make this, this is a boundary line, so he cannot get inside, but outside he can stay, right? So make sure that three centimeter and draw this up to here. And same thing I'm gonna do over here. So that's gonna be from here, it's gonna go up to here. Okay, then it says shaded this region. So I'm gonna shade this region where Jasper can roam around okay so take your time okay it doesn't has to be really really nice okay just to make sure that you understand what you are doing okay so this is the region where Jasper can go with a three meter long rope attached to it okay so that's that so make sure you have this all this marking don't erase that after this keep this one as it is okay now question number 11 it says find a and b this is matrix multiplication so matrix multiplication goes like this so two times minus four is minus eight 
then uh, a times 3 is plus 3a okay then this with this 2 times b is 2b and a times 2 is plus 2a and this with this minus 3 times minus 4 is 12 and minus 3 plus 3 that's going to be minus 3 3 is a 9 okay now over here uh, minus 3b and plus 2 okay so I, I think let me recheck that again okay because it's always better to recheck minus 8 then it's going to be plus 3a yeah, that's good uh, 2b plus 2a that's fine minus minus plus 12 this is 3 plus 3 okay so this is going to be 3 and over here minus 3b see that this and this this and that minus 3b and this is going to be plus 2 okay that equal to 7 15 10 2 okay so this element corresponding elements are equal this equals to that so minus 8 plus 3a equal to 7 so a equal to 7 plus 8 and 3 gonna go below over here so that's gonna be 15 my uh, divided by 3 is gonna be 5 so a is going to be 5 okay and then where I have B, I can use this one or I can use this one. Minus 3B plus 2 equal to 2. So minus 3B equal to 0. Therefore, B equal to 0. So that's done. Okay. Basia records the color of 100 cars passing the school gate. Her results are recorded in a table. So frequency 43 cars have color black. Uh, 18 uh, car have gray then the, the, so on use a uh, basius result to estimate the probability that the next car seen is a blue so probability of seeing a blue car according to her observation blue is 9 so 9 divided by 100 that's the probability that next car is gonna be a blue car okay in the next hour 500 cars pass the school gate Use Bassius result to estimate the number of this card that are red. So red is over here. So what I'm going to do, see that uh, 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 12 car out of 100, right? And this is now 500. So how many cars I can expect or Bassia can expect to see if there are 500 cars are moving or passing the school gate. So this A is going to be 12 times 500 divided by 100 so 0 0 0 0 cross out 5 12 is a 60 so uh, Bassius result to estimate the number of these cars that are red so it's gonna be 60 cars all right now C Colin records the color of the next another 100 cars passing the school gate his results are shown in the table below so black this then this a little bit different than the previous one Use Bassius and Collins combined result to estimate the number of red cars that would be seen when uh, 500 cars pass the school gate. Now, I have to use Bassius and Collins uh, uh, records for red cars. So red car over here 12 and red car over here 18. So altogether 12 plus 18 out of, remember there is 100 and this is 100 car. So this 200 cars. And I have to find out a red car that appeared to be uh, 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 in front of the school gate uh, when 500 cars passed. Okay, so I use A. Over here, I'm going to use B. So therefore, B equals to 12 plus 18 is going to be 20, 30 times 500 divided by 200. So this, this cross out, this, this cross out. Two, this is 15. So 15 times 5, so 15 times uh, 5 equal to 75. So this is going to be 75. Now which of the estimates in part B, part B or, or in part C is likely to be the best? Give a reason for your decision. Well, part B is a, a basis result to estimate. 500 cars this is basis result is 100 okay and over here more 100 so 
this is going to be of course c the best is uh, c and uh, we can say that the reason uh, over here we have to put the reason we can say that the survey was done with the more car or uh, based on based on larger sample okay so that's what it is one mark that should do it now question number 13 it says that the table shows uh, the mass of masses of 10 mothers and their babies at birth so mass of the mother uh, 64 uh, so and so and mass of the baby all of them are in kg it's given and then it says on the grid complete the scattered diagram so i can see that uh, 64 64 this 64 is done for us so all these shaded ones done for us so what uh, first it's all also mentioned over here the first six points have been plotted for you what type of correlation uh, okay before that on the grid complete the scattered diagram so six is done so 73.9 70 should be over here 3.9 should be uh, right over here Okay, so that's 3.9 and then 89, 89 should be here and it's also 3.9, so 89 over here and then 57, 57, so from 63 off and 3.2, so 3.2 right over here and then 75, 75 should be 4.4. This is 4, 75, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 75, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right over here. Okay, so that's that. And the four, four, uh, rest of the 4 is done. What type of correlation shape shows in the scattered diagram? All of them are scattered in some places um, along, along a line, making a more or less a line. So we can say that it's a strong, uh, I would say it's a, uh, correlation is strong positive correlation okay that would be my answer correlation okay and then on the scatter diagram draw a line that best fit in so I'm gonna go like this try to if it's possible try to put half of the point this side half of the point that side okay so if it's possible okay if it makes sense uh, the way I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it this way okay and over here i uh, see that the way i draw that it's not uh half of the points this side and half of the point that side but it's okay okay so that's done uh, anna has mass of 82 kg and gives birth to a baby okay anna has a mass of 82 kg and gives birth to a baby is your line to best fit to estimate the mass of her baby so 82 82 right over here so i'm gonna draw a line vertical line that touch the the line I have drawn before, best fitted line. So it's going to be somewhere over here. And then this this thing is going to be, this is the mother's uh, uh, weight over here, or ma mass, sorry, mass. And then over here, this particular value should be mass of the baby. And that's 4.3. So it's going to be 4.3 kg, 4.3 kg. So that's done. Now next one factorize completely 2ax minus 3by plus 6bx minus ay. Now I have ax, I have ax over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write them together. So 2ax plus 6bx and over here minus 3by minus ay. You can just look at it and you'll, you'll see what I'm doing over here. So I can take 2 common and x common. So if I take 2x common, I'm going to left uh, over here uh, A and uh, I'm leaving here 3B and from this 2 if I take um, mm, Y common minus Y common so see that A first okay first term is A so I'm going to write down this one and over here plus 3B so if I take this 2 common it's going to be A plus 3B then 2x, uh, 2x minus y. So that's going to be uh, a plus 3b and 2x minus y. That's factorized. All right. Now next one, uh, 
see this is not a perfect square it's a perfect cube but not perfect square and i have three over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to take three common so i'm going to have inside the bracket 9x square minus y square and 9 is a perfect square so 9 can be written as 9 and x square that can be written as 3x square and that could be minus y square okay when i have something like that a square minus b square can be written as a plus b a minus b so this is gonna be 3 3x plus y 3x minus y so this is gonna be 3 3x plus y 3x minus y so that's done okay now function of x given 3 minus 2x and g of x given 4x cubed minus 1 find function of 5 so function of 5 would be 3 minus 2 i'm going to replace the x with 5 so that's going to be 3 minus 10 that's going to be minus 7 so that's 10 and g of minus 2 so 4 minus 2 cubed minus 1 minus 2 cubed that means minus 8 times 4 minus 32 minus 1 that's supposed to be minus 33 so that's minus 33 okay uh, find and simplify function of 4x cubed minus 1 so function of x 3 minus 2 in the place of x i'm going to replace this whole thing 4x cubed minus 1 and taking the bracket of minus 8x cubed and this is going to be plus 2 so it's going to be 5 minus 8x cubed so 5 minus 8x cubed okay so that's done now evaluate 3 to the power 3 that's going to be 27 and 3 to the power 0 that's 1 so 20 27 minus 1 that's going to be 26 okay so i have here 26 simplify completely this the power is half so 9 can be written as 3 square times a to the power 3 b to the power 3 and 2 uh, 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 uh, b a to the power 5 and then power half then doing a little bit more uh, 3 square and over here actually okay let, let me have that no problem and if i take b on the top so it's going to be b to the power 3 minus 1 that's going to be 2 or let me write down 3 minus 1 and if i bring a below here a to the power 5 minus 3 and on the top power half so if i take this bracket of 3 this 2 this 2 and half cross out and over here b squared and half and over here 2 to the power 4 half times a to the power 2 power half so this half of cross out half of cross out this 2 and this this cross out so on the top i have 3b and at the bottom in the denominator 2 square means 4 and a so that's that all right now this one the diagram shows a square a b c d a b c d is a square so all sides are equal okay join and all of them are 90 degree join to a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle b e equal to 6 e c equal to 7 Calculate the area of the pentagon. So area of that. So I need to find out BC. BC is going to be using the Pythagoras theorem. 7 square plus 6 square. So 7, 7 is a 49 plus 36. So this is going to be 5 carrying 1, 85. Okay. Uh, square root 85. Don't worry about that. Okay. And this area. So area of the pentagon. Pentagon would be area of the square plus area of the triangle so what would be the area of the uh, square see all sides are equal and this bc is squ uh, square root 85 so square root 85 square and area of the triangle would be half base would be six and height would be seven if you if you hold it like that see that this is the base and this is the height okay and this is six and seven so this cross out is going to be three and this this cross out so it's going to be 85 plus 3 sevens are 21 so it's going to be 6 and this is going to be 106 106 square centimeter okay 
so that's done uh, let me do the next of the math in uh, my uh, next video okay thank you have a good day